I'm Joanne Hogan, and I have a delightful interview coming on your way. And this is with the folks who are going to be participating, and I just want to make sure I say it correctly, at Curious Comic Con. Curious Comic Con. So I'm going to present the alter, ego, alter egos first, Ari, Melissa, and Jared. And then we'll get to talk about both those, these people and other people will talk in their place about this wonderful event and what is the culture of Comic-Con. So I thought uh, that first of all with Ari we could talk about the event that's coming up. Yeah, so uh, this is our fourth year Curious Comic-Con on May 4th. Uh, started out as Free Comic Book Day, which is over every comic book store. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. But what we've done with ours is we've made it into a con, so a Comic-Con convention. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so it's free as opposed to going to Fan Expo and uh, paying an entry fee. Mm -hmm. So not only are you getting free comic books, but you're also getting an amazing experience experience with such amazing uh, cosplay artists as these yes. and many other things. <laughs> yes, and so it's going to be held at what location? Uh, um, Country Club Mall, because mm -hmm. um, that's where Curious Comics is. Okay. And so it will be from 10 until 5.30 mm -hmm. on Saturday, May 4th. Okay. Yeah, May the 4th be with you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Now you've got to be able to remember it with that, eh? Yes. May the 4th be with you. Very well chosen day. Eight. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the interview. Sure. So now uh, Melissa is also known as Queen Elsa. So Queen Elsa is also known as the hashtag Princess of West, yes. right? Yes. Amongst all your characters. Can you tell me more as, as a newbie to this whole culture, what exactly you do? Honestly, a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I started out uh, buying cosplays online. Mm -hmm. uh, so Comic-Con, going to these kind of events, you wear costumes. Uh, it's for fun. It's to become characters you love. You can compare it to something as similar as wearing your favorite jersey and painting your face to go to like a football game or to mm -hmm. the hockey game. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a similar comparison. Mm -hmm. um, so you just have fun and be the characters you want to be. A lot of people sew their own costumes, do their own wigs, do like prosthetics, like these incredible like makeup, oh, like yeah. like movie prosthetics and stuff. So I take it this beautiful wig that you're wearing is one of yours that yes, you crafted? Yes, I did stylist myself. Okay. Um, bought some cute little buttons on Etsy and just glued them to bobby yeah, pins and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, good old uh, Superstore sweater, mm -hmm. printed on there and comfy, easy. And you were telling me prior to taping that you've been involved with workshops, presenting workshops to people who want to develop different parts of becoming cost, costume people at uh, these yeah, Comic-Cons. Yes. That's a big part of conventions nowadays is to do a lot of like community uh, events like that is working on wigs. So I do a lot of wig uh, events like that, teaching me how to clean them and maintain them, style them. People do like seamstress work and making your own patterns. Because mm -hmm. a lot of costumes, like, I don't think I could go buy a pattern to make this. <laughs> I just don't think that's realistic. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff to like learn how to make armor and stuff yes, like that too. Exactly. exactly. So it's. And you were talking about positivity, uh, positivity and body image, and that is you. Absolutely. Yeah. Cosplaying is about being comfortable, being yourself and being with new friends, old friends, and just being happy. Oh, well, I, I can't see how you can be unhappy at an event like that. And the strong style, silent type over there, uh, that is Jared, but uh, today we're only supposed to refer to him as a Mandalorian from Star Wars. And I can speak on his behalf very quickly here. He's uh, one of eight official BC members of the Mandalorian Club. And uh, it's got international status with thousands of members throughout the world. And the local club is raising uh, money. Uh, it invites people to have their pictures taken with a character such as uh, the Mandalorian you see here. And uh, with the money, they uh, support the Children's Hospital, uh, the Canucks Place Hospice, and to get involved with the Variety Club Telethon. So great work on your part too. And coming back to you, Ari, you also are doing some fundraising for this event. Yeah, so with Curious Comic Con, because it's free, we, we like to 
encompass like the community. Mm -hmm. So this year, our charity of choice was Big Brothers Big Sisters. Mm -hmm. So we have a large silent auction where um, the artists in Artist Alley um, donate items, and we have other sponsors that donate items from the community mm -hmm. to raise uh, raise money for the Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, this year, we again we chose Big Brothers Big Sisters. Last year, we had the uh, the children's wish mm -hmm. and we were able to grant a wish last year which oh, was really amazing yeah yes, so that yes. was really awesome in the, in the context of comic-con that's wonderful yeah eh? so this event is amazing because it has gaming demos we have uh, comic vendors we have geek chic vendors we have cosplay artists mm -hmm. we have the 501st coming the Mandalorians coming cosplay artists of the highest caliber yes, yes. we have um, we have the VRcade coming um, we, we have the cosplay contest we have free comic books because it's free comic book day mm -hmm. there's just so many things about this event that's awesome and again it's free so so well your enthusiasm is really infectious I'm really impressed with the presentations that you folks have made and how you dress up for the occasion Thanks. and uh, I wish you the best again Cosmicon uh, may the all together now may, may the, the fourth, fourth be with you, you. <laughs> Curious Comic Con, May the 4th. Okay, and now I'm going to throw it uh, to Matt, and uh, he's going to interview the great musician Marty Steele.